Hello my friends, Clara Parks from The Wolf Channel, back with another wool short. Today we're talking about the vital link between vitamins and wool. And if you think there's no connection, think again. This is a bottle of vitamin D3 drops, something I and a lot of people here in Maine take during the winter months. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble nutrient and pro-hormone that is known for helping our bodies digest calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus, all of which are super crucial in helping us build and maintain healthy bones. Vitamin D has also been linked to reduced inflammation, reduced infections, reduced growth of cancer cells, and it even helps boost the production of serotonin. Now, there there are actually two forms of vitamin D. Vitamin D2 or ergocalciferol, which is classified as a pre-vitamin D, and it's derived primarily from plants. And vitamin D3 or cholecalciferol, which is primarily produced in animals. Our own bodies produce vitamin D3 every time our skin is exposed to the sun's ultraviolet B rays. But skin pigmentation, clothing, sunscreen, and the intensity of the sunlight can impact how much vitamin D3 our bodies actually produce. And according to the Cleveland Clinic, around 1 billion people worldwide are actually deficient in vitamin D, including approximately 35% of adults in the United States. Now, diet alone cannot always bring us back into balance, and that is why we have a thriving supplement industry, which brings us back to vitamin D2 and D3. While D2 is derived primarily from plants, vitamin D3 is derived commercially primarily from sheep. And now wait, wait, wait. Here it is important to be very clear. Pop a vitamin D3 and you are not eating any part of a dead animal. Not its eyeballs, not its tongue. You're not even touching or consuming an ounce of wool. What you are interacting with is the waxy substance that the sheep secretes onto their skin, which ends up on the fibers growing from the skin. This helps protect their skin and it also gives this brilliant waterproofing quality to their fibers, which is part of how they can live so happily outside in the elements. 365 days a year. When you remove that coat in the spring and you wash it in hot water, which is the first step in any commercial wool production, collect that hot water and you run it through a centrifuge, guess what rises to the top? That waxy substance. Extract it, run it through several steps of purification, and you get the liquid gold known as lanolin. But if you run that lanolin through several more steps of purification and extraction and crystallization and saponification, you end up with something called 7-dehydrocholesterol. Now here's where it gets really cool. If you expose that 7-dehydrocholesterol to large volumes of ultraviolet B irradiation, aka sunlight, you mimic what happens in the skin. That 7-dehydrocholesterol turns into vitamin D3, cholecalciferol. While lanolin may be the most prevalent commercial source for vitamin D3, it is also important to note that there's a small and growing market for a plant-derived vitamin D3. This stuff comes from Cladonia rangiferna that is grown in labs that may be better known by its nickname, reindeer moss. That beautiful, slow-growing lichen that's found primarily in the alpine tundra. So the next time you feel the winter blues coming on and you reach for that bottle of vitamin D3, take a moment and think of the sheep. Not only do they keep us warm and well on the outside, but they can also keep us happy and healthy on the inside, too. And there you have it. I'm Clara Parks. This has been another Wool Short for the Wool Channel. Thank you for watching. Ah!